was to this day one of the one of the most fun things ever and also one of the apart from dancing with the stars probably the most terrifying thing I've ever ever done uh, I remember it, it was a great process Lauren Michaels the first night you know I would go around from office to office and meet each of the writers and uh, and they would pitch a story and they were the best comedy writers in the business you know and and the cast you know was Phil Hartman and, and Dana Carvey and Mike Myers and Victoria Jackson so it was an incredible cast that I got to work with all my luggage which was a takeoff on uh, a show that we were all very proud of it, all my children, and it was one of the Emmy-nominated shows that I didn't win for, but uh, Erica's Bianca, who was just a baby, maybe two and a half years old, um, was fighting for her life in the hospital. And Erica had a scene in the chapel where she was talking to God. It was about a five-minute monologue, and she was begging him, and she was also really letting God have it. She was very angry that he would think of taking this little girl and so Saturday Night Live decided to do a spoof on this and Erica was traveling and uh, she got off her flight and they had lost her luggage so it was called All My Luggage because Erica then went to the chapel at the airport and same monologue only now it's about her jewelry and her makeup and her clothes <laughs> and, um, and Phil Hartman played um, Jack Montgomery Anyway, it was, it was so much fun, but I was terrified every day. I was so worried about the monologue. And, and the, they kept saying every day, don't worry about the monologue, don't worry about the monologue. That's because they don't build a set for the monologue. <laughs> That's why they weren't worried. I was so worried. And every day, I would be in the backseat of the car, and we'd stop at a red light, and I'd think, I am terrified. I will just slip out of this car right now. I will go to the airport. I will go away for maybe six months. No one will die, and I won't have to do this. I will put myself out of my misery. And but I didn't. I, I stayed in the car, and I'd go to the studio every day and rehearse. And you know, then when I was there, I was having the best time. Um, they also, I don't know if they still do, but. They see what gets the laughs, they see what sketches stay, then they scramble the order, and they're saying, 10 minutes, and they're scrambling the order, and they're rewriting, and some skits, skits are cut, and some stay, and they're calling 10 minutes, and then they're calling five minutes, and you're still finding out what you're gonna do. And it was so much fun, there was so much adrenaline running. You really, it is really live, and you make your costume changes. They take you, the stage manager takes you by the hand in the dark under the bleaches where everybody is sitting. You're underneath there in the dark. And he has a flashlight in his teeth or on his hat because there are different crew members down there with lights. And I remember he would run me around underneath in the dark, and there were costumes waiting for you. I only hoped that I would turn up in the right set, know what skit I was supposed to do at the right time. And the one on my luggage, my hairdresser Val, so it's dark, 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 and then the light illuminated that Val was under the bleachers and he was ready to make the change. So I, I did the costume change and in all my luggage, I had on a black hat with a veil. And so we put my hair up in a French twist, one, two, three, we had like two minutes to make this change and we, we couldn't find the hat. And Val and I are going, oh my God, oh my God, where's the hat, where's the hat? And the next thing I knew, Val was blonde. And then we looked up, it was on his head. <laughs> Val had the hat, he whipped it off, put it on me, threw me up, and I went up there and did and did all my luggage. Oh, it was so much fun. Yeah. And you also it, did a great um, a spoof of the, the Emmy the Emmy. Um, oh, the yeah. monologue turned out to be fantastic yeah. because they um you know, there were some opening remarks and then and then um, the uh, you know stage manager said, Come on, come on and uh, they took me to the hair and makeup table and the makeup artist had her chair, had her table propped up with uh, an Emmy because it was a little wobbly. I'll prop it up with an Emmy. There were like six Emmys in the back. Uh, she was having trouble with the lights, so the carpenter came. He used the Emmy as a hammer, and he had a, a work belt. And there were like five Emmys hanging off the back. And the last, the last part of that monologue was they they took me um, to the cafeteria, and. Um, and they were using um, Emmys as corn holders, and then they were saying, food fight, they're throwing Emmys. So it was very funny. <laughs>